الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المهتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا الحمد لله غافر الذنب وقابل التوب شديد العقاب ذي الطول لا اله الا هو اليه المصير اللهم لك الحمد كما ينبغي لجلال وجهك وعظيم سلطانك اللهم لك الحمد يا من لم تتخذ ولدا ولم يكن لك شريك في الملك ولم يكن لك ولي من الذل والله اكبر كبيرا واشهد ان لا اله الا الله الاحد الفرض الصمد الذي لم يلد ولم يولد ولم يكن له كفوا احد مالك الملك يؤتي الملك من يشاء وينزع الملك ممن يشاء يعز من يشاء ويذل من يشاء بيده الخير وهو على كل شيء قدير سبح له ما في السماوات وما في الارض وهو العزيز الحكيم له ملك السماوات والارض يحيي ويميت وهو على كل شيء قدير هو الاول والاخر والظاهر والباطن وهو بكل شيء عليم واشهد ان محمدا عبده ورسوله بلغ الرساله وادى الامانه وجاهد في الله حق جهاده حتى اتاه اليقين تركنا على المحجه البيضاء ليلها كنهارها لا يزيغ عنها الا هالك شرح الله له صدره ووضع عنه وزره واعلمه ان مع العسر يسرا ان مع العسر يسرا وامره ان اذا فرغت فانصب والى ربك فارغب عباد الله اوصيكم ونفس المقصره بتقوى الله واحذركم ونفس من عصيانه ومخالفه امره لزوما لقوله الحق تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا ايها الذين امنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن الا وانتم مسلمون وكذلك في قول الحق تبارك وتعالى يا ايها الناس اتقوا ربكم الذي خلقكم من نفس واحده وخلق منها زوجها وبث منهما رجالا كثيرا ونساء واتقوا الله الذي تساءلون به والارham ان الله كان عليكم رقيبا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم اعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم وما يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما my dear brothers and sisters my dearest children one cannot help it but to reflect on the condition of the muslim ummah nowadays what is happening in the majority of the muslim ummah countries <coughs> is so concerning and needs from us to take a moment of reflection and see what is happening to us why we're bleeding in almost every corner before we were trying to wake up from the shock of what is happening in sudan we're now dealing with another tragedy in a, another assault and attack on the helpless powerless people of gaza and as i was reflecting on contemplating on the ayat of the quran i found that there is ayat that addresses and speak to us in uh, as if they were to be revealed the moment in which the mighty allah azza wa jalla says id tastaghithuna rabbakum fastajaba lakum anni mumiddukum bi alf min al malaikati murdifin wa ma ja'alahu allah illa bushra lakum wa litatma'inna qulubukum bih wa man nasru illa min 'indi allah inna allah azizun hakim ya allah Ya Allah, how much we are in need to understand the meanings of the words of this ayah. إِذْ تَسْتَغِيثُونَ رَبَّكُمْ Remember when you were supplicating to your mighty, an istighatha in the Arabic language, linguistically speaking, asking for the victory and asking for help, pleading to someone in, in a desperate situation for support and help. 
This is the linguistic meaning of istighatha. And according to Shaykh al-Islam ibn Taymiyyah, the mustalah shar'i of istighatha is turning to Allah Azza wa Jal only and only Him for help and support. That's what we're in need for nowadays as an ummah. We need not to turn to the east or to the west, nor to turn to those who have historically proven to be enemies to our deen. <coughs> These ayat were revealed in the context of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba in the event of the Battle of Badr when Muslims were persecuted out of Mecca, they were chased out of their own homes, their wealth were taken from them. And not only that, but Quraysh did not leave them alone, continued to conspire against the Muslim a growing state in Medina and planning to finish them and apport them, apport the, the light of Islam before it grows up. And as a result of that, here comes the attack of Quraysh on the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and the Sahaba in unplanned battle that is called the Battle of Badr, whereby 317 Sahaba lightly armed, they were not going out to fight, they were trying to retrieve part a small proportion of what they what has been taken from them by Quraysh in Mecca. And as a result of that, when Quraysh learned about that, their arrogance, their pride, and their hatred to the growing light of the deen of Allah Azza wa Jal, they decided to come with a well-prepared army that is three times at least the number of the Muslims, with a thousand, with all the necessities, with all the weapons and the preparation needed, not only to defeat the 317, but to wipe Islam from its roots and to prevent the Nur of Allah Azza wa from reaching the whole world. And as a result of that, Allah Azza wa portrayed to us an image to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam along with the Sahaba. إِذْ تَسْتَغِيثُونَ تَسْتَغِيثُونَ is in the plural form. We know that Sira, the Sira reported to us that in that night prior to the event of Badr or the Battle of Badr, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam spent the whole night supplicating to, the, to Allah Azza wa Jal supplicating with full heart to the point to the point that Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu felt so 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 compassionately sorry to the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam and said ya rasulullah ba'd munajatika li rabbika kafaka munajatika li rabbika take it easy on yourself part of what your supplication is more than enough to Allah azza to respond to your dua and along with the rest of the Sahaba who were either engaged in the dua with the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam or they were doing the Ameen on the dua of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. That's why Allah said, إِذْ تَسْتَغِيثُونَ in the plural form, رَبُّكُمْ Not Allah, رَبُّكُمْ The one who cherishes you, the one who looks after you, the one who cares about you, رَبُّكُمْ Allah Azza wants us to establish this understanding to our connection with Him as a Rabb, as a Murabbi, as a one who cares. Think of the relationship between a child and a parent. No matter what happened, the parent would not dis abandon and dishonor his own child no matter what. And the love and the care between the Murabbi and the murabba is always clearly to be a very compassionate relationship. إِذْ تَسْتَغِيثُونَ رَبَّكُمْ فَاسْتَجَابَ لَكُمْ Immediately, Allah responded to the call. Rather than turning to the supplier, 
of the apartheid regime in, that has occupied the land of Palestine since 1948 and between two brackets, May 15 is co always commemorating uh, a very tragic second event in the history of the Muslim Ummah. And I do mean it deliberately, second tragic event. Because the first tragic event that befall onto the Muslim Ummah in the modern history was uh, around the First World War when the Khilafah of Islam was destroyed. And then as the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam illustrated, Tada'at alayna al-umam. The nations were attacking us. Muslim Ummah became like the orphans who are being taken care of by the Li'am. Those who have no mercy in their heart. Muslim Ummah, after the collapsement of the Khilafah, that was the biggest tragedy in the modern history of Islam were divided among the Arabian nations who come like the wolf to take care of the sheep and said, we will be taking care of you from the aggression you were exposed to from the Ottoman Empire. And then the Muslim Umar divided. Muslims' blood was sucked. And the second tragedy that the Muslim Ummah had to deal with, and I do deliberately mean the Muslim Ummah, is to be is the, for the land of Al Masjid Al Aqsa, Al Ard Al Barakna Hawlaha Lil Alameen, the land that the Mighty said that it was blessed for the mankind, the first Qibla of Islam, the third shrine of Islam, was taken deliberately from the Muslim Ummah. That's a second tragedy in the Muslim Ummah. Let's reframe things into the right perspective. The tragedy or catastrophe, as they call it, which is commemorated normally on May 15 of every year, commemorating what happened in the circus or, or the, the joke that was called the 1948, was a tragedy not to the Palestinians, but to the Muslim Ummah. Let's put things into the right perspectives, my brothers and sisters. We were taken and were defeated and were constantly being defeated because the enemies of Islam tried to divide us. We were Muslims concerned about each others. And then we were divided to sit different subcategories. Arabs, non-Arabs. Arabs divided within themselves, then Arabs divided within themselves to the different nationalities. And we're all in need for an external support. And guess who we turn to for an external support? We turn for those who have no interest in our life, but to take advantage of the resources we have as an Ummah. That's a fact. Let's put things into the right perspective. The Muslim Ummah had a very tragic moment in 1948, the second tragic moment. And unfortunately, we keep turning to the east or to the west. We call upon the United Nations and we call upon the American government who has no, who would not wait a second from backing up the apartheid regime in Israel with the most sophisticated weapons to destroy and kill and torture the helpless, powerless Palestinians in their own refugees, in their own lands. Allah is saying to us, Forget about the whole world and turn to your mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Go to your Lord, go to Allah Azza wa Jal. Fastajabalakum immediately responded to your call. Anni mumiddukum bi alfin min al malaikat murdufin. I am supplying you with a thousand murdufin coming behind you to give you the aid and support. But be mindful that these thousand of malaika will be behind you to give you the support are not the purpose of your nasr. They're not the one who's going to give you the victory, but 
Victory always comes from the mighty Allah Azzawajal. وَمَنْ نَصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ Ya Allah. Throughout the history of the battle between Haqq and Batil, the dark and the light, between the falsehood and the truthhood, never for the truthhood, never the Haqq was able to gain victory because of number. It was always because of the support of the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. إِن تَسْتَغِيثُونَ رَبَّكُمْ فَاسْتَجَابَ لَكُمْ أَنِّي مُمِدُّكُمْ بِأَلْفٍ مِنَ الْمَلَائِكَةِ مُرْدِفِينَ وَمَا جَعْلَهُ اللَّهُ إِلَّا بُشْرَةً A glad tiding. لَكُمْ وَلَتَطْمَئِنَّ بِهِ قُلُوبُكُمْ وَمَنْ نَصُوا إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ عَزِيزٌ حَكِيمٌ يَا اللَّهِ يَا اللَّهِ عزيز مايتي He's not in need for his creation and all the creations are in need for him He's a mighty He's the one who have created you and created everything around you. What's with the nuclear bombs? What's with the F-16s? What's with the guided bombs that are used right now against the civilians in Gaza as we're speaking right now? Guided bombs supported by the American government to the apartheid regime to kill innocent people. Why are the taxpayers of the America are giving these money free gifts to kill innocent children while the Americans themselves are struggling to make their own daily, daily, daily meats. Why? We need to ask these questions. Allah is Aziz, mighty, yet He is Hakim. He puts things into the right perspective. And at the end of the ayat, Inna Allah. سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ فَلَمْ تَقْتُلُوهُمْ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ قَتَلَهُمْ وَمَا رَمَيْتَ إِذْ رَمَيْتَ وَلَكِنَّ اللَّهَ رَمَى وَلِيُبْلِيَ الْمُؤْمِنِينَ مِنْهُ بَلَاءً حَسَنًا وَمَنْ نَصْرُ إِلَّا مِنْ عِنْدِ اللَّهِ إِنَّ اللَّهَ سَمِيعٌ عَلِيمٌ سَمِيعٌ to your dua to your supplication to him while you're standing between his hands in the darkness of the night as your prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam did Prior to the night of the event of Badr, spend the whole night supplicating to the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Sami'un to your dua, alimun to what is beneficial for you. إِذْ يُوحِ رَبُّكَ إِلَى الْمَلَائِكَةِ أَنِّي مَعَكُمْ فَثَبِّتُ الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا سَأُلْقِي فِي قُلُوبِ الَّذِينَ كَفَرُوا الرُّعْبِ فاضربوا فوق الأعناق واضربوا منهم كل بنان إذ يوحي ربك الله عز وجل is revealing to the ملائكة إذ يوحي ربك أني معكم الله is saying I am with you يا ملائكة and pay attention to the words we know that الله عز وجل is with us he is سميع عليم but Allah Azza wants to demonstrate and give us a practical understanding of how to earn the victory from the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. If you Rabbuka, Allah has revealed to the Malaiki, Anni Ma'akum, I am with you, Ya Malaika. What should you do? Fathabitu Ladina Amanu. Give the steadfastness to the believers. Again. My brothers and sisters, we will not be qualified to the Nasr of Allah Azza wa Jal. Our conditions would not be changing in the Muslim Ummah. No matter how many years will elapse. Unless we understand that we're qualified for the Nasr of Allah Azza wa Jal if we were to be Mu'mineen. And interestingly enough, the beginning of the Surah, Surah Al-Anfal, addresses the believers. إِنَّمَا الْمُؤْمِنُونَ الَّذِينَ إِذَا ذُكِرَ اللَّهِ وَجِلَتْ قُلُوبُهُمْ وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ يَا رَبِّ مَا أَعْظَمَكَ Ya Allah, make us from those who live these meanings in their life. The believers are those who when the name of Allah is mentioned in front of them, their hearts will become in a state of wajal. Fear to the legacy of Allah Azza wa Jal. وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُهُ When the ayat of Allah is recited upon them, they don't say, they don't feel the, the overwhelming of just Allah. 
They know what the ayat of Allah should mean to them. وَإِذَا تُلِيَتْ عَلَيْهِمْ آيَاتُ زَادَتْهُمْ إِيمَانًا Increased their iman. وَعَلَى رَبِّهِمْ يَتَوَكَّلُونَ And the one who counts solely and totally on the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. That's what you brothers and sisters in Gaza are doing right now. They have no one to turn to except the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Their lands were taken from them. After the what so-called 1948, 78% of Palestine was captured by the backed by the international force, Israel forces. Seven, eight, 700,000 Palestinians, which is the majority of the, of the population, were expelled from their own land. 475 villages were destroyed. And after that, the Israeli apartheid regime continue to, aggr to aggressively consume more lands from Palestinians in the what's so-called 1967 war. And they continue to build settlements on illegal lands. And we're talking international language right now. We're not attacking, we're not deliberately doing this or that. We're talking, we're speaking international language. We're talking about human rights. We're talking about international laws. And no one denies these facts. Not even the American government know that the state of Israel is illegally occupying the Palestinian lands, illegally building settlements, illegally treating the Palestinians and violating the human rights every day. This is a fact. This small geographical area that's called Gaza is about 364 square foot kilometers that accommodates more or less close to 2.5 million people, the most dense population spot on earth. Yet, this very small geographical area has been living in siege for 17 years. Yes, by the Israelis, but primarily by the Arabs, who have prevented even the basics of supplies from reaching the most disparate people in the, in, in, the, in, in, the, in the region of Gaza. People with serious sickness have to wait on the borders and the, and the gates, and they most of the time die as a result of the long waiting from both sides. Despite of all that, they decided to be people who believe in the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. Handmade rockets were made inside the siege. Handmade rockets were made in the land during the siege that have caused fear to those who have over 200 nuclear heads, who have the F-16s, who have the guided bombs, who have the most sophisticated technology on earth. These made handmade rockets have made two millions of Israelis live underground for the uh, past a few days. Why? Because the mighty said clearly so. If you hirabbuka ila al malaikati anni ma'akum, fathabitu ladina amanu. Give the, the, the steadfastness, the fastness to the believers, to those who have been living in siege for 17 years. To those who have been, been boycotted by the whole world, to those who are unable to find the basics of living, to feed their own children or treat their own sick. They believed in the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal. And as a result of that, Allah the mighty said, Sa'ulqi fi kulubi ladina kafaru rab. I shall throw the fear in the hearts of those who stand against my deen. For over 36 hours, almost 40 hours, the state of Israel was living fear before even one small rocket was launched from Gaza. They were living fear. Why are you fearing this? You have the what's so-called the, the dome, the, 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 that, that the golden dome that should, you know, with the te sophisticated technology, be able to shoot down any, any muscles. But they were living the fear because they had violated the principles of the mighty Allah Azza They have spread the mischief on land. They have violated the international human rights codes. They have violated the international laws.
and they continue to do so blind with the blindness of the international community. I was deliberately following up with the Western media. Nothing, zilch, no talk about with the Palestinian suffering. When the Americans are being called on, the state of Israel have the right to defend itself. Well, what about those poor Palestinians? Why your billions are going to the one side and knowing aggressively they're violating the international laws and you're depriving the basics of living from the other, for the other side or for the other people. Know that the mighty Allah Azza wa Jal is Aziz and Hakim and know that the mighty Allah Azza wa is Sami and Alim. Wa aqulu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullahi wa lakum wa fazal mustaghfirin. الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستهديه ونستغفره ونعوذ بالله من شرور انفسنا وسيئات اعمالنا من يهده الله فهو المعتد ومن يضلل فلن تجد له وليا مرشدا ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم وبارك اللهم على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما باركت على ابراهيم في العالمين انك حميد مجيد اللهم إننا نستغيث بك يا رب اللهم إننا نستغيث بك يا رب اللهم إننا نستغيث بك يا رب اللهم ردنا إلى دينك ردا جميلا اللهم اجعلنا من المؤمنين اللهم اللهم اشرح صدور الإسلام واملأ قلوبنا بالإيمان اللهم نسألك نستغيث بك نستجير بك بأن تصلح حال المسلمين في بقاع الأرض يا رب العالمين اللهم نصرك الذي وعدتنا يا رب العالمين اللهم فك أسر المأسورين ودعو الجرح والمرضى برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين وأغث الأيتام والأرامل والمساكين فإنك على كل شيء قدير يا الله we pray to you, supplicate you, you are the mighty. We are, we are doing istighatha you to you, ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, make us from those who will be, who are mu'mineen. Ya Allah, make us from those who, whose dua are accepted, ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, we pray to you, we supplicate to you to lift the injustice from everyone on earth, ya Rabbil Alameen. Ya Allah, we pray to you, we supplicate to you to heal those who are sick, ya Allah. To heal those who are wounded, ya Rabb, to, to free those who are captive. And Ya Allah, we ask you to restore Jesus, peace and justice on earth, Ya Arham al Rahimin. Wa sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Muhammadin wa alayhi wa sahbihi ajma'in wa aqim as-salam.